Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and this is a quick video to give you a website that's very useful um, if you want to have the latest report for the NOAA weather satellites to receive their signal on VHF. So this is the website. I will be of course posting the link in the description below the video. This is updated once a week and so here you see the update of February 15th, 2016. It gives the satellites and their frequencies if they're on, good, off, or if something is happening or it's off service. So, like I told you, NOAA 19, 18, and 15 are the ones that are presently on, good. Um, Meteor MN1 is also there, apparently on but poor. So, these are the frequencies. Now, they have geostationary satellite status also, but geostationary satellites cannot be received unless you have a very, very good antenna, directional antenna, and a very sensitive receiver. Um, so usually we don't really, you know, think about those. Uh, what we focus on is the low Earth orbit, which is the first part of the report. So check it out. And of course, in your Arbitron, you'll be able to put check marks through the satellites that are working. Now, one again, once again, word of caution, if you are listening to NOAA satellites, um, it, it could be worth it to check all of them because there are some spurious signals sometimes. I know that uh, two of them I've heard in the past few weeks and months have spurious signals. NOAA 2 and NOAA 9 seem to be at random switching on, sending some signal and um, it's not really decodable but it's uh, apparently there sometimes so why not check it out? Sometimes it could be interesting to see that one of these old satellites come back to life uh, you know just by chance but this is you know really something at random so it's uh, something that you know might be there might not be there at all but at least here you'll know which ones are on the frequencies they use so that you can listen and uh, hopefully you will have great reception the NOAA satellites what's cool is that you can actually decode the weather map and to do that you need a piece of software that's called weather to IMG if you go to weather to IMG.com you will get a piece of software that you install it's good for Mac Linux and Windows and it lets you uh, decode the APT or the image the automatic image downloads from satellites so when you receive a signal from one of these NOAA satellites you can record the sound and actually feed it through this software and you will hopefully see the map that it's sending out. So that's a cool thing about the NOAA weather satellites is that not only can you hear them, but you can also decode the weather map. So uh, keep an eye for NOAA satellites and uh, you'll never know what you can uh, hear. So I'll be posting a link to both the weather status and the software download so you can listen to weather satellites. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. You have any questions or anything you want to know, any video about something on Scanner Radio, let us know and we'll try to post a video if we can. Thanks for watching.